Hello everybody, this is Eric at Learn Design with Eric, and today we are going to take a little look at Wix versus Elementor. Now Elementor is a plugin for WordPress, and so if you don't know about WordPress, then you probably have never done any web design at all. But WordPress is by far the largest and most popular web portal uh, besides like full on HTML. So let's see, what percentage of the web, if I can type, is using WordPress? Let's see, it changes every month. So uh, WordPress market share statistics. So this looks very good. 40% of all websites. I don't know how current this is. In any case, let's just say it's a crap ton. There's a lot of people using WordPress and it's continuing to rise. Uh, my small company that I work for, we actually just this year finally moved over to completely WordPress based hosting, mostly because of the fact that our strategy team can go inside the website and optimize for advertising and we don't have to have as much of a development team. And so it works out great. And even somebody like me who knows enough to be dangerous, but that's about it. I would not at all call myself a developer. I am purely a designer, but I do know development in a sense. I know enough HTML and CSS to discover what's going on within a website. So anyway, I don't wanna belager this too much more. So here, here's what I got going on. I got this website right here that I did several years ago for a uh, men's, uh, it, it's basically a men's event that I am a part of. I'm um, on the board of directors and it's a Christian men's event that's held in Camp Tadmore up in the mountains up outside of uh, Lebanon, Oregon, and it's a really super awesome event. And we get really great speakers and musicians and, you know, have a great time. And I did this website for the, for the event several years back. And last year, because of COVID, we didn't even do the event. And so I didn't update the site and we, we did kind of some other things, but yeah, you know, steak, lots of steak. Look at that. We do a lot of steak. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the event is like a, a couple thousand guys come up, we sing worship, we have a great time, we shoot guns, we run around in the mud, just do guy stuff all weekend long. I play a lot of board games because that's my thing. Uh, but any case, that is what the event is. And I am currently got this thing on Wix and I believe it was like 300 bucks for three years or something like that. So it's $100 a year for hosting which I mean isn't bad in the scheme of things, but it's not cheap either. And you can get Bluehost for like $100 for three years. So it's three times more expensive than Bluehost. And I, uh, I need to do update the website anyway. And one thing that's kind of a downer with Wix is when you go inside Wix, and let me just show you here. Let me just go into Wix here so you can kind of see um, what the back end is like here. So let me go in to this thing, sign in, and you can kind of see how it structures it inside. And so um, once you're in here, then you can go into site actions and I always just right click on this and open a new tab or well, I try to. Maybe it's not gonna work. Okay, edit site. Oh, it opens a new tab automatically. Great. Okay, so here's the site. And when you're in here, when you originally create the site, you create it in, uh, essentially you, you pick a theme. So when you start up the site, you originally you pick a theme. And then once you've picked that theme, you really can't change the theme. So if you didn't like the way it looks, the way this uh, side nav works and all that stuff. Uh, and it won't show it to me because I'm in. But the way the side nav works and the way it mobilizes, if you didn't like that suddenly, oh, that's right, this site's not 
Wix is not exactly responsive. It detects different uh, viewport sizes and then kind of adjusts. But in, in any case, the point is, if you didn't like the way it looks and the structure of it, you would be kind of screwed if you wanted to change to a different uh, amount of content, if you wanted to change the content dramatically. And I built this as a one-page site because really it's like a, hey, here's the event and if you just keep reading down this is you know who's coming to the event and there are values and you know you're you're going to start going down and seeing like all of the things you can do at the event and that's it there, there's not much to it so you know the the point of having a big long whole bunch of pages is, is kind of silly it's it's a it's a single event so we have a landing page basically to get you there and i've got a bunch of call to action rows and you can you know, interact with them. Generally speaking, this doesn't say order a virtual roundup. It says register, and that'll take you to a payment gateway. So that's kind of how this site works. And then I've got, a, of course, our social media links here, and I've got this chat widget installed, so you can chat with the guy that, you know, is on the chat side of things and receives that stuff. So the way that Wix works is if I want to add something, so here's the menu for the page. And I can literally move stuff by just doing this. I mean, it is pretty sweet. Um, and it'll, it'll change stuff on the page. And uh, you can add page backgrounds and they give you a whole bunch in here of like free stock basically, but you can also add your own image. You can add video backgrounds really easily. You can add additional items. They have like built-in pre-made buttons they have you know icons and themed buttons and i mean there's just so much option so many great options and so this is you know one of the things that's really nice about wix is that you can build a pretty robust website without having any knowledge of how to do web design um, and and it's pretty user friendly uh, you know, changing colors, site colors. You can go in here and create your own theme and kind of just optimize it. You can, there's additional apps you can purchase or some of them are free to add to the site and uh, basically, you know, add additional benefits to it. There's, uh, you know, your image gallery. You can see all the stuff that I've, well, these, these are like, you can get Shutterstock images. You can buy Shutterstock video stuff. There's free Wix stuff, and then you can, of course, have your own your own gallery. This is all my all my assets that I have in you know posted on the site. So you can see there's not a huge amount, but there's there's certainly stuff there. Um, you can start blogs, you know, where you have like kind of like message boards sort of stuff going on. You can take online bookings; those cost extra, I'm pretty sure. And uh, you can add coupons. I mean, there's just so many options. So that is kind of a little once over on how WordPress or how Wix works, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's a great option for somebody that doesn't want to. And this so this is the mobile version. It kind of shows you like a little thumbnail of what the site looks like on a phone. And it basically just squishes everything up like, you know, most mobile systems do. And I'll show you how how um, Elementor works in just a moment. So when you're, when you're looking at the UI and Wix or the user experience piece, you've got this little side nav option and everything's visual. There's no, you can see I've got anchor links here. That's for the navigation menu. And if you wanna move something, you literally just grab it and move it. Like it's really, really, really easy to use. What do you want your name your site? Men's Roundup. Site's tagline is going to be, where was that? Christian Conference Camping Retreat. For now, might change it later. That's uh, so that, anyway, we're here to this part here. We're gonna use Hello Elementor. It's a freebie. Uh, yeah, got it. Thank you. Use this theme. Uh, the reason why we're using Hello Elementor is I'm going to use Elementor to style this site. 
Now Elementor is a free plugin for WordPress and it gives you basically a WYSIWYG system in order to design your own website. I pay the extra, I think it's 50 bucks a year to do Elementor Pro, which gives you a whole lot more options, including uh, custom templates that you can design yourself for the site, and a whole bunch more added options, and just a much, much, much more robust experience. Whereas with WordPress, you've got kind of this back end here, which is not visual at all and is literally laden with a ton of options and can be very confusing for people that are new and and uh, uh, certainly a lot overwhelming. I mean, there's all these all these comments and just all this stuff and, and you don't you don't even know where to start. So you might think, oh, I'll go to pages, which then gives you a list of pages, but it doesn't doesn't show you anything. So we're gonna do, uh, let's go to the home page. Let's go view. I always open links in new tab so that I can keep my back end visible to easily get back to it. So here is the home page. And when you're logged in to the back end, you see this top bar. This kind of gives you uh, quick access to different things. And you can, I'm just gonna scroll through the site really quick. So there's me, some of the things I do and uh, sign up form and all that. So. That is the site. Now let's edit with Elementor and compare with what we've got over here. So once you've gotten logged in and you're in a position where you can do an edit to the site. So here is the site. Now it's a little different than what you got over here, but you still have all these options over here. And you can, you can type in, so if you want an anchor, you go menu anchor, you just type in anchor and just menu anchor and you can just drop that anchor almost anywhere. And you can see where it kind of wants to drop, wants to drop within these divs. Uh, a div's a kind of like a container on the page. So here's a div and then this is a, this is a headline. And so, uh, and then this is, you know, some type, some just regular type. It's a title technically, it's an H2. So, and this is an H1. Uh, actually, this is an image because this is a font that you can't, I didn't want to pay for a web font for two words. So it's just a, just a graphic element. In any case, um, just to kind of show you how this works. So if I wanted to like say move this button to the left, you just click on that and just drag it and drop it. And it, it, so it's really pretty simple. And then just to show you what you what you do when you go to tablet mode, all right, so we're gonna show, I'm just gonna show you a real once, real quick once over. This This is Elementor on mobile, and you can change it from desktop. So you're seeing it full width here, and it'll it'll scale to the size of your screen. So, you know, as you, as you move it around, it'll just automatically do that. And then you can go to tablet mode, and you see everything just kind of squishes up and then it'll go to mobile mode. And I've already customized this, obviously, that's not defaulting to this type of format, uh, but I just wanted to show you that. And then if you wanted to add a new section, one thing that's pretty cool is you can just go in here and it gives you uh, pre-built pages. This is in Pro again. And so there's a whole bunch of them in here. I mean, there's just a ton. So you can see there's like a whole style of site here, a whole style of site here, and so on. Lots of options. Well, let's just quick and look at one of these just to do it. And so there's physio care, picture of really scuzzy looking doctor, you know, headline subhead, body copy, book an appointment button some kind of default service maybe that you might put together and some icon lists along with a, a graphic, some reviews, and your contact information. So kind of a one page landing site style. And if you wanted to, you could insert that in the page and it would just go right where that plus sign was that I, that I clicked. Here's a, a beauty page is actually not too bad looking except for the really distracting type but uh 
that is kind of how that works. If you don't want to do a whole page and you just want to add a section, you can go into blocks and then you can look by category. So you got 404 pages, clients, contact, FAQ, features, header, hero. Let's just look at the heroes for a second. So it gives you these pre-built heroes, but you can really customize these or you can just build your own. Um, you know, and, and that's actually not as hard as you might think as well. Here's some team sections. You can see there's quite a few here. Uh, you could also add in something from one of these pages. Like if you liked a certain part on a page, like let's just say for a second that you really liked uh, this look, you could literally p paste this page and then delete all the sections you didn't want to keep and then just keep the one you wanted. Uh, so there's a lot of options on there. And then you can look at my template. So I've got my footer template and my header template that are kind of pre-built in here. So just to look at my uh, Elementor footer, Elementor header, that's how that is set up. And you can name them and search them if you had enough on a big, big, huge website, it might be beneficial. So just for the sake of it, we're gonna create our own. So if you did that, you'd select your structure. So if you wanted it to be a single section with full width, or if you wanted half width or three column, four column, one one third column, two third column, two third, one third, and so on. There's a whole lot of options, six up, five up, and so on. So let's just say we're gonna do another section like this one up above, which is like that, right? And so it comes in and you can kind of see how it's set up very similarly here. I've got a whole bunch of padding here. So let's just say we wanna have a similar appearance. You click on this edit section here just to confirm that it's selecting the whole section. The content width is box or full width. So you can see how it stretched out those pluses. I'm gonna go back to box because that's how my stuff's set up. When we go into style, you can change your background type. You can change it to an image. So you can just grab one of the images from your library. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna grab this, this graphical image of me, me paddling down the river. And now you can see it's really tight and there's nothing here. So if you wanted to be able to show more of the image, like maybe you just wanted to have the image on the footer here, you can add what's called a spacer to this, and then you can adjust that. It's currently set to 50 pixels, so you can set it to a higher number, or you could do by viewport height. So this is like percentage of viewport height. So if the viewport is currently at like, I don't know what this is, a thousand or something, it's going to be set to 40% of the viewport height. That's a pretty good way to do it if you're if you're going to, you know, do it that way. Now also notice that this image is being duplicated. And so the d the default position is default, uh, but you could have it be centered or which again is duplicating it. The repeat is set to default and re obviously the default is to repeat. And so we're going to say no repeat. The size is set to default because I imported this image rather small because it wasn't going to be big on the on the page. But let's just say I wanted to make it cover. Now what that's going to do is it's going to stretch the width of that image to go the whole width of this of this page, no matter how big it gets. Um, and if you wanted to make it extra fancy, maybe that's not the best example. I usually any effects that I do apply, I always turn them off on mobile because they tend to not work well on mobile phones. But uh, what I'll oftentimes do with these is make them fixed. And what that does is, is this effect right here. So if you're just putting a graphic in and you wanna just have it kind of on your page and not taking up a ton of room, you can have this nice narrow strip and, and you can have it set to you know background cover, which is gonna fill. You'd wanna use a higher resolution image. This image is not very big. Uh, like I showed you before, when it was not background cover and just default, you could see how small it was. Turn that off. So here we are, that's the width of the image that I imported originally. And set to background cover, that's not really that great of a, a, a way to go. But if I imported a higher resolution image, that would probably look pretty good. So that's a little bit of how you can style in Elementor. And then there's a lot of other options. It's, you know, like I could put a headline in here I'd want to get rid of the spacer if I was going to do that or lessen it significantly. 
So we could change this header to, uh, you know, my header here. And then maybe we write right align it or something and then style it so that it's not black so we can see it. And then we could add some padding to that. So maybe add that top uh, 50, bottom 50. So you can kind of see, you know, it's just an example. I'm obviously not gonna use this here because it's ugly. <laughs> and then if you wanna remove it, obviously just click that minus button and it's gone. And then you can update your site. And it, that saves it. And then if you wanna see what it looks like on the page, you click the little three there and you can view your page and that, that will hide kind of the other Elementor elements that are there, like that section that was gone. So that is kind of how Elementor works in comparison to Wix. So Wix is uh, really, really functional, useful for somebody that doesn't know that much about how to work the internet. And Elementor using WordPress as a backend is a lot more robust, a lot more customizable, gives you a lot more options. I mean, there's literally an endless amount of plugins that you can install on your WordPress site. Of course, if you do install an endless amount of plugins, you're gonna have a really horribly bad performing site. But, uh, you know, I've got Google Analytics installed here, and, you know, this is the Bluehost uh, control panel, which I haven't uninstalled, but maybe I will, I'm not sure. Jetpack gives you lots of nice features that are kind of built into WordPress and it's a free thing. There, there's actually nothing here that I've installed that's not free. You can get premium versions of Yoast and WP Forms and some of that other stuff, but I have not found the need for that. So anyway, that's just a quick once over on WordPress and Elementor, Elementor being that really super user-friendly uh, front-end element to styling your WordPress or styling your WordPress site. And the way I build it, and, and I'll show you when I go into the new site that I started, the uh, Men's Roundup site, which I'm gonna be covering maybe in the next video, I'm gonna kind of start, I'm gonna show you how I set up a, an Elementor site, how I start to style it, kind of where I start with and where I go to in kind of a probably a couple part series because I have to do it anyway and so I figure this is something that I know that a lot of people are probably interested in. Uh, I know I could have used a video series like this when I was starting up in Elementor just to get myself a once over before I dove in. But anyway that is what I'm going to be covering and in, in the next couple weeks after this and I appreciate guys taking the time today and thank you for watching my channel and if you like what you're seeing I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up or, you know, like my video. And if you want to continue to see this and get the weekly updates, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. And then also, if you want to connect on a deeper level, I have a Facebook group that I set up, a private Facebook group. If you just go on over to Facebook, and there's actually a link in the description below where you can go on over to Facebook and re request a... Uh, connection and I will go ahead and approve that and then you guys can talk to me directly we could even you know like chat and uh, you can ask more detailed questions than you can ask you can you know send videos images whatever that you're working on if you want to have me look over your stuff and give you some thoughts or ideas uh, maybe some you know opinions if you're looking for that kind of thing in any case I appreciate it very much this is Eric with learn design with Eric